Hey everybody, it's Dan with Pain For You. Today's video is gonna be a little bit odd. So I wanna talk about a snow globe. You know those little uh, ornaments that you see around the holidays, the Christmas ornaments? There's like maybe a little person with a dog and a sled and you shake it and the snow starts to float around. So the analogy here is that your nervous system is a lot like a snow globe. And so, let's say you start to shake it, and it gets a little bit harder to see, and things get a little bit less clear. Well, your nervous system is the same way. The only problem is that as we get into some of these nervous system deregulations, or dysregulation, and symptoms, and chronic pain, we tend to get into a panic. And what does that do? It causes us to start to shake the snow globe harder and faster, and then we still can't see. And so we shake it harder and faster because we're panicking. And so TMS is too much stress. One of the best things we can do is learn to be still and hold that snow globe still. And you'll see the snow will eventually settle and it will get clear in there and you will be able to see with amazing clarity. And so if you view your nervous system like a snow globe, instead of panicking and freaking out about symptoms and running from doctor to doctor to you know specialist to specialist to this medicine to that medicine, these foods, to those supplements, to these pills, to those treatments, to this gadget, this cushion, to that bed, to that mattress, all right, all we're doing is shaking that snow globe because we're desperate to resolve the problems. When in fact, if you set it down and get very still and calm your thoughts, because these thoughts are virtually the shaking motion, right? And so if you can calm your thoughts, the shaking stops. And when you can calm your thoughts, the nervous system has a, has a shot of kind of settling down and not firing as if it's in constant danger at all times. So let me give credit where credit is due. There is a series of cute little videos on YouTube called Wonderland X. And it's like a, a play on the Alice in Wonderland movie. And it's actually done fairly well. And what's really cool is there's like a series of five videos and uh, they're actually play acting the Alice in Wonderland stuff but instead of following that script um, what they're doing is they're really teaching some life lessons and so the snow globe uh, was certainly one of them it was in one of the episodes third or fourth one I forget but if you want to see what that's all about uh, go to YouTube and search for Wonderland X and look for the series of five videos. It's like a little playlist of those videos. And very thought provoking. And the snow globe analogy um, in how to gain clarity by stopping and being still as opposed to shaking like crazy and the thoughts are what's really shaking it like crazy because the thoughts create the emotions and the emotions create the thoughts and it shakes, shakes, shakes and you freak out and freak out and before you know it, your nervous system is really in a very heightened state, highly sensitized state. And sometimes the best thing you can do is learn to calm your thoughts, learn to stop shaking that snow globe, because if you want clarity, you're gonna get it. You know, it really is fascinating how fast a snow globe will settle down when you stop shaking it. It's actually fascinating how fast a nervous system can slow down when you stop freaking out over symptoms and learn to really be at peace, be calm, slow your breathing down, deep breaths, slow breaths, meditate if you like doing that, get outside in nature, breathe some fresh air. Essentially you're putting that snow globe down and you're not going to keep it agitated where things are a lot less clear and hard to see. So check out Wonderland X on YouTube. Each video is maybe only five to seven minutes or so. So you can watch all five of them in about 30 or 35 minutes. Pretty neat life lessons. And I will probably touch on one of the other life lessons 
um, in another video. So, are you shaking the snow globe? Are you shaking your nervous system and wondering why it won't settle down? Well worth thinking about. And uh, it's a weird analogy, but I think it was very useful. I thought it was very profound. And that the more we think scary, dangerous thoughts, the more we're shaking the snow globe and the more cloudy and difficult it is to see. And so if we can learn to cool our thoughts down, calm them down, and learn to be still and learn to recognize I'm actually safe. I'm actually safe. And that this nervous system sensitivity is just as a result of too much medicalization from the damn medical community, too much fear-based thinking, too much panic and freak out over symptoms, too much future-based catastrophization about how shitty our life's going to be. So it's no wonder that this snow globe has been shaken for years and hasn't settled down in years. So really, you know about TMS? You know what it is. You know that that's what's going on with you. And TMS, look, everybody uses that word interchangeably for virtually anything. Is this TMS? And the Facebook groups, yes, that's TMS. Yes, that's TMS. And you know, in the classic sense, Dr. Sarna figured out that chronic pain was, and then over time, more and more uh, symptoms were called TMS equivalents. But at the end of the day, much of the nervous system can get highly sensitized. The immune system and the digestive system can be considerably suppressed by TMS, which again is too much stress. So if your definition of is this symptom or that symptom or that symptom, TMS, well if the definition is too much stress, yes it is. It's not the classic Sarno, you know, oxygen deprivation thing, but if too much stress is causing your immune system to be suppressed and now you caught the flu bug when a normal, you know, non-suppressed immune system would have just knocked it out and no problem, um, yeah, TMS is too much stress. So, stress illness, stress disorders are way more, co way more common than any of us realize. Um, and if you've got symptoms that don't fit into the standard back pain that Sarno talks about, and you start to feel like, well, this stuff doesn't apply to me because everybody in these TMS groups, including you, Dan, in your videos, all you're doing is talking about pain. I try to do my best to say pain and or symptoms, um, but if you're starting to feel like it doesn't apply, great book to read, Dr. David Clark, C-L-A-R-K-E. Uh, the book is called They Can't Find Anything Wrong, and he really talks about stress illness and all sorts of funky things that he's come across in his medical practice. He's a real doctor, and he came to the same conclusions that Sarno did without working with Sarno, without studying Sarno. So pretty fascinating guy. He is one of the founding members or directors of the ppdassociation.org. So Dr. David Clark, great resource, especially if you are suffering from symptoms that don't fall into the standard most commonly talked about pain that me and many of the other TMSers talk about. So if you got something else weird going on, check out Dr. David Clark. Go to the ppdassociation.org. Um, I think his contact info is there. Um, I think he also has a website, stressillness.com, I believe. So, anyway, what do you guys think? Are you uh, busy shaking that snow globe over and over and over again? Or have you learned to settle it down and enjoy the clarity of vision, the clarity of your nervous system, the calm, peacefulness? And it's wild, today's really quiet out here. No construction, not a lot of nature, just some birds here and there. So anyway, stop shaking that snow globe. Let me know what you think of this video, and if you get a chance to go check out Wonderland X on YouTube, those several videos, comment below, let me know what you think. And for the lady who pointed that Wonderland X out to me, I forget your name off the top of my head, but Thank you. 
It was a really, really cool set of videos. So enjoy your day, folks. Stop shaking that snow globe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Love you.